Welcome to iLecture Online, and here's a nice example on how to work with problems dealing with direct and inverse variation, or in other words, uh, when we say that some variable like y is proportional to some other variable like x. In this case, let's read the problem. It says that it takes, hmm, how about an S there? It takes 15 hours to drive to a destination at 50 miles per hour if the time t varies inversely to the velocity v, or in other words, the saying, you can say if the time t is proportional to the inverse of the velocity v, how long will it take to get there at 60 miles per hour? All right, so what's the strategy here? Well, first of all, we write down the proportionality. We can say that the time that it takes to get somewhere is proportional to 1 over the velocity. And then, of course, to turn that into an equation, you need to include a constant of proportionality, so we can write that t is equal to k times 1 over v. And then given the initial information, we should be able to figure out what the value for k is. All right, they tell us that it will take 15 hours, so t equals 15, when the velocity is equal to 50 miles per hour. So 15 is equal to k times 1 over v, which is 50, multiplying both sides by 50. I can say, okay, I can go like this, 50, and multiply this times 50, so that cancels out. And we have 50 times 15, or 750, equals k. And then we can plug that back into the equation, which means that t, the time that it takes to get anywhere, is equal to 750 times 1 over v. And there's my equation. So now I can solve the second part. Now we can figure out how long it will take to get to the same destination traveling there at 60 miles per hour. So now we can say that t, when v is equal to 60, is equal to 750 times 1 over 60. And so we can say that t is equal to, or t when uh, v is equal to 60, is equal to, all well, the zeros cancel out, it's 75 divided by 6, and that looks like t when v is equal to 60, is equal to, hmm, 60, 15, that would be 12.5, and of course that would be in terms of hours. All right, which means that if you can get somewhere at 50 miles per hour and it takes you 15 hours to get there at 50 miles per hour, it will only take you 12 and a half hours if you drive at 60 miles per hour. And that's how you utilize these kinds of problems. All right, that was a nice little example. Let me see if I can dig up a few more for you. 